I got one for you. This is hard. How'd you feel about it? How'd you feel like it? What'd you feel like the experience did? How did it go for us? I feel like the meet went pretty well for us all around. I mean, we had our ups and downs throughout the whole meet, but we ended on like high note. Um, especially on bars, I think we had the best bar rotation we've ever had um, in our squads and everything. So that was pretty exciting. But I feel like it went pretty well overall. Connor in the back. Just how, uh, how are you acclimating to the college and the team environment? What do you really like about it? Um, you know, obviously that was your first 10. So just that experience, experiencing that with that, like that shared joy for everyone. I love college and just the whole team and everything. The team environment is so, uh, such an amazing experience. And finally experiencing it is like one of a kind. And like I'll never forget like these moments I'm having with the team and like getting a 10, just knowing like the team was right there and they were so excited for me. So that was amazing. Because what do you want out of this year, this your freshman campaign? What do you want, you know, how do you want it to play out? What would you ultimately like to achieve? Honestly, my only goal for this year was just, just go into every single meet and start having fun with it and having fun with competing. So I feel like I'm already, already accomplishing um, that goal. And then I feel like just like going out there and doing what I know and like doing what I love. Hey, Connor, I know you passed up the opportunity to take the season off to train for the Olympics to be here. How? How are you weighing that decision now that you are in that team environment? Is it any different than you expected it to be? Has it made the decision more difficult now? Um, I feel like it's exactly what I needed. I feel like I made the right decision in that moment that I made it, and this is everything I needed to still try for the Olympics and still get to that part, uh, that part of my life. So, Is LSU helping you get to that goal to be at, with the Olympics this summer? 100%, yes. Uh, what are you seeing on beam? I'm going to ask Jay this a little bit too, but uh, you know, opening meet here, you had some issues, I think. What what were you feeling on beam, and uh, where can the team improve on that event? I feel like the team just needs to be like more confident. I feel like we um, we have so much confidence on the other events. I feel like we're kind of lacking a bit in beam, but we're getting there and we're going to get there. So I feel like that's the most important is just knowing that like we need to have confidence and in going into beam like headstrong and just like feel like ready to go, and I feel like we're kind of like missing that part, but I feel like we're going to get there soon, definitely. I'm sure the team is all focused on their own events and whatnot, but what positive can be picked up by being in the same arena as an Oklahoma, who traditionally is, if not the national champ, uh, right there? Yes, I mean, Oklahoma is amazing, but we don't have anything less than what they do, and um, we can be as good as they are, and there's no doubt in my mind, I feel like there's no doubt in the team's mind that um, we're going to be that good, and like we have everything that we need to get there. How about the fight that you guys showed? Obviously, you know, it wasn't the start that you wanted there, but to be able to battle back throughout the course of the meet and finish second in that group. Yes, I feel like we're known, this team is like known for our fight and like always fighting and like coming back from like a downfall and everything. So I feel like we're always going to have that and we're never going to lose that part. And in our minds, it's just like we know we can do it. And um, just like whenever we have like a mistake or anything, like the next person is ready to go and like we're ready to um, like just pick it up after the next person. I don't know how much you work with her or knew her before coming to campus, but Haley Bryant and just her consistency, what kind of teammate and leader has she been for you? Haley is honestly the best teammate. She is the most amazing person. She is such a kind-hearted person and everything. And then in the gym, just watching her, she does the same thing every day, and she's so consistent in the gym. And then just seeing the personality that she has outside the gym, like she honestly couldn't be a better person. Connor, um, <clears throat> your decision to come to LSU this year, you could have deferred another year. But what, what was that decision? And what do you get from being part of a team that you didn't get from uh, elite level gymnastics when it's, it's more, uh, you were on you're in international competitions, I'm sure, but it, it's more individualistic. Yes, I mean, the team environment, I mean, it's honestly like one of a kind, like there's no better way to explain it. And like just all the coaches and like, I've never had so many coaches either. And like having Jay and Bugs and Court and G um, just be there like every practice and just always supporting us and like always supporting me because they know like I've had such a rough past and like hard history and like coming in like they've always been so supportive like the first half of the semester was a little rough for me but like I finally like 
found like kind of like the light and like I feel like they're kind of starting to see it in me which is amazing yeah um just like with my back surgery and hand surgery is just injury after injury and like I couldn't kind of get back into the groove of gymnastics and I was just like I need something else and like, I need a team to support me and just to be happier and love gymnastics again and like I knew Aaliyah and she like she was like this is what you need and I was like I know so I she kind of like helped me make the decision there's like a lot of people who helped me made it, made it. but um yeah I feel like it's just to be find a happier place in my life uh, where are you at as far as competing in other events? Is that something you want to do, or is it a slow build? Um, definitely something I want to do. The goal is to be an all-around, um, definitely by the end of the season. But I feel like I'm getting pretty close on most of the events, so I'm ready to go whenever they need me. Tell, tell them what you told Court. What's next? Oh, I told Court after um, the meet on Saturday that um, floor's next. I was like, <laughs> I'm ready, Court, floor's next. And then I told G that. I already told Court that floor is next, and then vaults after floor. <laughs> so he's got to wait, apparently. <laughs> I, I'm not real familiar with elites. So I don't know if you um, perform as often as you do now at the collegiate level. Is that something that you're getting used to? Um, yes. <laughs> this is insane. Um, meets back-to-back. -back. I feel like the closest meet I have back-to-back -back is like two months apart. And so this is crazy, kind of like traveling and then coming back home and then traveling again. It's kind of weird. But I kind of like it just because, like, I feel more in shape and, like, ready to go and, like, more confident. If you would give us an update on how, what you feel about, you know, still pursuing uh, a spot on the Olympic team uh, this year. Is that still a, a goal for you? And if so, how do you hope to go about that, balancing the fact that, Elite gymnastics is Olympics uh, level gymnastics is a little different. You're going for d different things than you are in collegiate. Yes, it's definitely different. But my number one goal is still the Olympics and to make that team. So um, definitely finish up in CWA season and then move on to um, um, all the elite meets and the elite season. But I'm still training some skills, so got to get back in that elite groove and elite skills and everything. So. We're seeing more and more Olympians in, in collegiate, at the collegiate level now. Is that something that you guys talk about? Is it something that you're seeing can be a path and it's the right choice now as opposed to kind of just staying in that lane for so long? I feel like it just depends on the person. I feel like each person needs something different and, like, they know what they need. But, like, the girls that went to college and then now they're back in elite and the girls that are still in college and they're still doing elite, I feel like it's just, like, really up to them and, like, what they feel and like their body needs and what their mind needs because that like all that that's all that matters like when it comes to gymnastics is like what your mind and your body and your like spirit needs.